this episode, we're going to be talking about the eraser, the shapes, and also the text box. Now, the eraser is pretty straightforward. When you select the eraser, you can erase your strokes like this or erase your object like, it, like this. However, there are two things right here. One is a trash can. One is a trash can with a stroke. The difference between them is that when you click on the trash can, it erases everything on the canvas. However, if you just want to erase the strokes, every mark that you've put down instead of erasing everything, then you can choose the center one, which is called a clear stroke function. And it will clear everything that you've written on the canvas, but keep the materials on the canvas. That, that's the eraser part. Now, shapes. Uh, when you click on it, there is a default of a square, a circle, and triangle. And as we mentioned before, if you want some advanced options, all you have to do is to click it again, and it offers you all types of shapes alongside with all types of colors and thickness as well. Now, if you want 3D shapes, we also offer that in our shape functions. Now, we also have some uh, arrows and some uh, graph, graph functions that you can use. Further down to the right, there is a really, really off, uh, very often used function, which is called the charts. You can simply drag and choose, say, a 4x4 four four chart, and there you go. There goes your chart, and you can select this chart and put it wherever you want, like, like, like this. So that's the shape function, very, very straightforward. Now, coming down to the text box function, uh, it's very, very straightforward as well. When you click on it, there is a uh, type box that appears. And you, just like in Microsoft Word, you can s highlight whatever you want and make it bold, make it italic, or change the color of the font of your typing. All right, and you can change the font in here. Now, do remember that in my view board, uh, whiteboard it catches every every font that you have installed in this computer so say if you have a special font that you want to use in this computer and as long as you have installed it in your computer already that will be totally fine you will find it in here but if you are to use the material you've created on another computer you have to make sure that that computer has the same font as well or else the position would be a little bit off so that's something to keep in mind. But do remember that in font, uh, it catches every font that you have installed in your computer. So that is the basic introduction for our eraser function, our shape function, and also our text box function. I'll see you in our next episode.